This video is about expanding logarithms using the property of logarithms. So first let's talk about the properties of logarithms. So take a moment, pause the video, write this down, and then come back and listen to me explain it. It's too much to listen to and write at the same time. So pause the video, write this down, and then listen. So the first rule is the product rule. So what you notice is the log base a of u times v. That can be any two things multiplied together. The expanding property says you can take the log base a of u and add it to the log base a of v. All right, so you can expand it using an, an addition sign. That's the product rule. The quotient rule, it starts with two things being divided. That's why we use quotient. And so the log of a, so we expand it using the same base, a and a, but instead of adding, we subtract. So it's u minus the log base a of v. Right. Notice the bases stay the same. When you expand, product rule, you add the two terms. Quotient rule, you subtract them. All right. The power rule, log base a of u raised to the n power. So anything raised to a power, what's going to happen is that power is going to get moved to the front. So it's n times the log base a of u. Now, write this down because you're going to refer back to this as we do examples. Because we're going to get examples, and the goal is to expand them out using all three properties sometimes all at once, so keep them handy. All right, <clears throat> let's try this. Okay, log base three of p times q. All right, so they're multiplied, which means I'm gonna use the product rule. And then the product rule, you separate them out with addition. So I would say the log base three of p plus the log base three of q. And that's my answer. Bases are the same of my logs and I added the two terms. Number two, I've got division, so I'm going to use quotient rule, and I have a power, so I've got to use the power rule, okay? So, log base 3 of p squared minus the log base 3 of q. Now, I'm not finished because this still has a power. That power has to come to the front. So, what I write is 2 times the log base 3 of p minus the log base 3 of q. Number three, okay, it's quotient rule, so let's start with the quotient rule. Log base, this is base 10, so it's just log of four minus the log of a. Okay, we got two terms down here, so it's gonna be minus the log of b squared. Okay, so separate it out each term, you're still subtracting because you're dividing by it. But you're not finished because this b is squared, so I need to rewrite it with that two out front. That's the log of b, all right, two times log of b. All right, so there you go. That's the expanded version of that one. Let's look at these. Okay, we've got product rule on top, quotient rule, product rule. So we've got lots going on here. So let's expand out the products first. So i got log base 4 of 3 plus the log base 4 of x minus, first thing we just subtracted is the log base 4 of 2 minus log base 4 of y, okay? So I subtract both of these separate terms, but you do need to separate them out when you're doing expansion, all right? This one, number five, you got product, 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 and a power. So let's, let's expand this out. So the log base 3 of 4 plus, okay, I'm going to put the 2 out front because it's the power. So it's 2 times the log base 3 of q. Now, think of this square root. Don't let that mess you up. Think of it as r to the one-half power. Remember, we've talked about this power before. So it's a power rule as well. I need to move that power out front. So one-half log base 3 of r. Right? That reflects the square root. Okay, on this one, we have a natural log. No big deal. Products and powers on top powers on bottom. Now, this r squared cubed rooted, you can write this as r squared, actually r to the two-thirds power, because the one-third power is the cube root, okay, and the r is already squared underneath that, so it's like the one-third times two, which gives you two-thirds, okay? So think of it as r to the two-thirds power on the bottom, all right? Then everything else should look familiar. So I'm going to use power rule and product rule. So I would say 4 
times the natural log of p plus 5 times the natural log of q minus, remember the power, we move the power up front, 2 thirds the natural log of r. Last couple examples for you. Now, this x plus 2 thing is going to stick together. You're not going to separate that out. Okay, think of all this as one unit, one term. So what I would do is the log of 4 as a product, right, 4 times this guy, plus 3, I move the power in the front, the log of x plus 2. You can't separate this because you don't know what x is, so leave it as a unit, okay? And look at this guy. Okay, we've got lots going on. You've got a power in front of each of these terms that are being multiplied. So you can think of it as 5 squared times x squared times y squared so that you don't miss any of those powers. Down here, you've got 3z, all that under a square root. So think of that as to the 1 half power. All right, so let's start expanding it with the top. Okay, so I'm going to put the power in front 2 times the log base 7 of 5 plus 2 times the log base 7 of x, plus 2 times the log base 7 of y, minus, because I'm dividing, it's quotient rule, minus, okay, you've got a product in here, so we have to separate this out, minus um, the log base 7 of 3, but that 1 half goes out front, minus 1 half the log base 7 of z. So make sure to separate out both points, okay? I don't think there's a minus sign there. All right, so all of that is the expanded version of this one problem. All right, now on your own, I want you to try this one, and we'll start here in class tomorrow.